हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड आफ्टरनून दिस इज अनिश योर इंग्लिश टीचर आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट यू आर स्टडिंग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द सेकेंड पॉम फ्रॉम अ बुक फर्स्ट फ्लाइट एंड द टाइटल ऑफ द पॉम इज फायर एंड आइज so dear students you can see on the screen i have underlined the title fire and ice fire here stand for desire or passion and ice here stand for hatred or hate so the poet has used the title metaphorically or symbolically in that sense this poem has been inspired from dante's poem inferno dante was an italian writer and poet he had written the poem inferno in 14th century in that poem he described his journey to the hell so same way here the poet robert lee frost has been inspired from him and he has written the poem and in this poem he talks about the two ways the world or the universe is going to end and the two ways he talks about that is fire and ice literally but it has got a deep meaning and that deep meaning he explains in the poem how this world is going to come to an end this is the short introduction of the poet robert lee frost he was an american poet his work was initially published in england and later on it was published in america he was awarded the congressional gold medal and uh, frost was also named poet laureate of womant the short summary of the poem so this short poem outlines the familiar question about the fate of the world wondering if it is more likely to be destroyed by fire or ice people are on both sides of the debate so people support fire and some people also support ice the narrator first concludes that the world must end in fire after considering his personal experience with desire and passion the emotions of fire yet after considering his experience with ice or hatred the narrator acknowledges that ice would be equally destructive and here is the poem for you i am going to read it for you once some say the world will end in fire some say in ice from what i have tasted of desire i hold with those who favor fire but if it had to perish twice i think i know enough of hate to say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice so some say some say means here some people say some people say that the world will end in fire some people say that the world will end in ice or water but the poet says that what he has experienced from his passion or his desire he says that i support the people those who favor fire the poet also support the people those who say that the world will end in fire but if it had to perish twice but then in the second stanza the poet also says that if there is another way the world can end the universe can end and that another way he says that he knows there is enough of hatred in this world and that hatred is sufficient 
for the end of the world so dear students the poet says that i think i know enough of hate to say that for destruction ice is also great so the poet says that other than the fire the second thing which can cause the end of the world that is ice and ice here stand for coldness in behavior ice here stand for hatred among human beings so dear students the poet explains the poem in this way and he says that the ice would be equally important and sufficient for the distraction of the world if too much of desire or too much of passion can cause the end of the world then ice also or hatred also can be the cause of the world so the meaning of the words given here perish perish means die or end and suffice means be enough be sufficient now let's move on to the rhyming scheme you can see on the screen so the rhyming scheme followed here is a b a a b c and b c b you can see the first line fire a second line ice b and third line desire again it is a so this is a b a then fire twice hate it is a b c and then ice great suffice this is b c p now let's move to some poetic device which have been used here so the first poetic device we can understand is anaphora now what is anaphora dear student anaphora means the repetition of words or phrases in the starting of two or more lines in the poem so you can see the two phrases are repeated in the two line some say the world will end in fire some say in ice another poetic device which is used here that is enjambment and enjambment meaning already i had told you yesterday it means continuation of idea or thought or sentence to the next line of the stanza so you can see here to say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice so this is the example of enchantment now alliteration very simple you can understand example is given some say a sound is repeated so alliteration is the repetition of consonant sound initially at the letter or alphabet in the line you can also see f sound in favor fire next poetic device is assonance and assonance is repetition of the vowel sound in the line you can see the example i sound is repeated in first line will in fire again the line i think i know enough of it so i and o sounds are repeated next is consonants and consonants is repetition of the consonant sound either in the beginning or middle or at the end of the word in a line so the example you have the sound i hold with those who favor fire some more poetic devices for your reference alliteration the example is given for you paradox is a true statement but which seems untrue example is but if it had to perish twice symbolism you can see fire a symbol of for desire 
eyes a symbol for head imagery a figure of speech where an object person or situation has another meaning other than its literal meaning so you can see fire and ice carry connotations key points is again for your reference you can revise it and you can understand the poem now dear students these are some of the short questions for you i hope you have understood the poem so the first question what are the two opinions discussed in the poem about the end of this world answer is written there for you second question what does fire stand for in the poem third question what does i stand for in the poem so it's very easy poem you can understand it and uh, to the question answer for extract and uh, long answer type question i will give you some more notes in the next video i hope you have understood the poem okay now thank you very much goodbye study well